Hey guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Always a Diva, and this is Dom D. Yo, yo, what's up? And welcome to Mix With Me, the Mojito Edition. Let's get started. All right, so um, with this whole thing, we just plan on trying to look into new different flavors for mojitos besides the, the classic. I know, you know, it's a common thing that people mix the flavors, whatever, but mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to do it myself to kind of create a, a beverage book, a, a alcohol recipe book kind of thing. So I can refer back to it and make things that I like. Um, we're starting with watermelon for this one. All right. It's going to be a four part series or session, whatever you want to call it. Um, Watermelon will be the first one since what we have right here. Okay. All right, so. And, and you may be wondering, like, this is so random. Why? You know, what's happening? You know, right now we are on uh, quarantine. We are sheltering in, in place here at home. And, you know, what else? I mean, there's plenty of other things. <laughs> but when it comes to the weekends, like, how do you set apart your days? Each day is running into one another. Monday is Wednesday, Wednesday is Friday, Friday, Sunday. No. So we've decided to use our weekends to do something that we wouldn't normally do. Kind of create some concoctions, some little happy beverages. And we're starting with the mojito. Exactly. So first flavor is watermelon mojito. Courtesy of our mixologist, Dondi. Yeah. And um, honestly... We've done some kind of similar the last couple of weekends, not the same time, but we just kind of like creating a random drink or whatever, just to, you know, sit down and chat and thought, you know what, why not make a YouTube video about it, see, see what other people think about the drinks, mm -hmm. you know, get, get more of the communities involved and see sure, what exactly guys. what they think. So yeah. that's, so I'm excited. that's kind of what we did. All right. So we're going to start out with the classic, then we add the extra stuff. So if you already know about Mojitos, you know the the the, the classic is going to be your mint. You want to toss the mint in there. Mm -hmm. You know you need your your sugar or simple syrup. Personally, I like super fine syrup. Yeah, super fine sugar. Sugar. It helps to be able to muddle it and actually dissolves. You know, I don't it know if y'all bring out like the mint, the oil in the mint a little bit. Yeah, too. yeah. Okay. Um, and I don't know if you guys have had mojitos where you're like, man. Is this clumpy sugar at the bottom, or uh, or maybe your mint is just disintegrated or whatever? So this is kind of a way to try to alleviate that kind of issue. So we got that going on. We're just gonna add our sugar into here. Um, we know we're gonna need lime juice and rum as well. Uh, after we do that, we're gonna add all the excess. I'm so ingredients. excited. And so earlier he he mentioned extra. Yes, I am extra. And I know a lot of people think of extra as something negative. I think it's something absolutely positive um, to take everything that you do to the next level. Because in my opinion, if you're not going to do that, why are you even doing it? Why are you even doing it? So uh, tonight's uh, next step, next level of extraness was this watermelon juice. We juiced this watermelon, half a watermelon. We juiced it till it's fresh. Can't wait to um, use it not only for the drink, but then we'll use it to just drink throughout the day. Uh, watermelon is very hydrating. It's one of the best fruits that you can eat, or in this case, drink uh, for hydration. So super excited for that. Um, and, you know, extra, for me, extraness is, it's a, I'm not going to lie, it's a way of life. Um, it's the name, always a diva. Always a diva. Even if, you know, don't get me wrong, like, it's not necessarily how you look, it's a mindset and everything you do. And in my opinion, I think life should be, everyday life should be a red carpet moment. You shouldn't wait for that a special day, a special time, a special certain someone. Every day of your life should be a red carpet moment. And you should do what you need to do to make it so. So tonight, we just a lot of money. couple other surprises um that I'm surprised because it's not only just that we juice the watermelon because you know as a mixologist in the making I like to 
try to set my drinks apart oh, from other drinks I, can I smell have the lime seen. And the mint. I mean, the lime and the uh, mint. I can smell it. Well, that's good. Sorry. That means it's fresh. Um, so, making drinks is kind of like an art as well. All right. So, yes. half of the battle for a drink is how it looks. So, if you're going to go into a bar, you look at a drink menu and maybe it has pictures you're like, mm, that doesn't look good. That mm -hmm. might be the first thing you say. Agreed. You might read the name and look at the picture. That doesn't look good. Maybe and then look you look at the price and you're like, I'm not paying that for that. Exactly. So half the battle is how it looks. It draws them in. And maybe you're like, man, I'm not trying to spend $12 for this drink. But that look good, though. Look good. And then you're probably going to buy it anyways. So at least that's me. All right. So now we're going to add some of our... Sweet and sour watermelon mix. Mm. All right. So now we can start the muddle process. Now, like I said earlier, I don't remember if I said it or not, but you can just release the mint in your palms, just taking it, rub mm -hmm. it in like this, mm -hmm. three, four times, whatever tossing in your drink. I like a more concentrated mint taste, which is why I do this. It's the classic way, kind of trying to, you know, learn how the classic mixologist would do it mm -hmm. from, you know, the Latin countries that kind of do this type of thing. The best mojito I've ever had. Hands down, my girlfriend and I went to Cuba. No sooner than they opened, we were able to travel. We took a cruise to Havana, and Havana. Havana, and we went to. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember the name of this hotel. I should be able to remember the name, but we went there and um, like on a, a tour. We were tourists, and they but they made this mojito, hands down the best mojito I've ever had. And I have been chasing that mojito ever since. So I'm happy to have a mixologist in house um, to help me out, and also to help, kind of like help expand my palate, my drink palate, and open my mind to other flavors of a classic that is now a favorite. So here's our first surprise: nicely carved out watermelon spear. Mm. Carved that out a little earlier in preparation for this. This makes me so happy, y'all. You guys don't understand. Not, not because it's watermelon. <laughs> I'm not sure what you meant by that. I'm sure viewers don't know what you meant by that either. But the presentation, presentation is everything to me. I think it, it relays how you feel about the person you're presenting the drink or the plate or the bowl to, um, how much care goes into actually creating um, the, the art. So yeah, it means a lot to me. Thank you, Don. You're very welcome. That's what I'm trying to make sure he he has to have it. He don't get this for nothing. You wouldn't even know if this is good. Maybe you're gonna Still, be at the end of this. Equal. And you're gonna it needs to be. Ugh, it needs to be this like is trash. It needs to Here, be equal. Want to take the rest of this? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Possibly, but it should be equal. All right. So our second um, extra ingredient. The fresh watermelon juice. What? Pile of colors is popping in me. Now you guys are probably like, well, it looks okay right now, but like, yeah. how does it taste? You're right. I'm with you, because I had this before, I was unimpressed, and I gotta say, I'm a little pessimistic about it now, um, just based off of it. Now, I'll say this, I didn't have the watermelon spear, I didn't have the watermelon juice, so, and to give her credit, it was her idea to add the, the watermelon juice, the spear was my idea. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and add this last surprise. Carved out watermelon ball, just by setting it like this. Okay. And then, of course, 
to knit leaves. Yarn is there at the top. Alright, so here is. I thought that was my one. Says it to the air. Our watermelon mojito, everyone. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but this is my work of art. Hopefully, it'll. Y'all can see it when I get too close to me. Some art projects. So, um, down in the comments, why don't you go ahead and let us know what this should be rated by? Like, uh, out of one to ten, alone. presentation alone. Yeah. How does this look? Does this look like it's something you you buy for a double digit price? You know, me. I would. I think I would. If I saw this drink, a picture of this drink on the menu, I'm buying it. Period. Period. <laughs> Period. I'm buying it. Twelve dollars, I'm buying it. Fifteen dollars, I'm buying it. Hmm. Okay, I might even buy it at twenty because I'm that type. Because she looks pretty, so she should taste good. Okay, I'm not buying it. Though. I'm just saying, it depends on the establishment. I I'm 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 a little weary of <laughs> double digit prices. Oh. Okay. Straw for her. And we're gonna catch a cake. Yeah. 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 One, more, one more look for y'all before I kill it. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. It really does. Please tell me what you think. Let me stir it a little bit. Blue over filled. I apologize. I'm not mad at that. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are not audible words to help me understand Sorry. how Sorry. this is. It's delicious. That's it right there. Uh, hold on. I wish y'all could taste this. It's so good. Is it? It's, it's amazing. Okay, move on. Let me go ahead and try it. Okay, I mean, Let me see in that. my opinion, because I'm very big on opinions, in my opinion, it's, it's delicious. It's crisp, it's fresh, it's re I mean, I get like, this takes me to a summer day. You got burgers or what have you grilling, you got friends and family over, except not right now, not in 2020, because y'all already know what's up. <laughs> but like at the end, at the end of the day, Right before you kick people out, <laughs> you send you you kind of have like a, a closing beverage. This is it right here. This is the closing. You're beverage. just chilling on the chase lounger. So this is kind of like a a sunset relax out on a patio beverage. Not like a morning beverage. I, I feel like it's like a morning like a brunch beverage. Maybe not morning brunch. Like maybe like brunch depending on what your ten to eleven is. Yes. A nice theme, ten to eleven thirty. But I just feel and, like it's like, like your five to six thirty. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Like okay. I could see it with a light little summer salad. I could just see a little orzo pasta salad. <laughs> okay. Well, I see it was mashed with tacos or something. <laughs> tacos. That's me. Uh, I want some tacos. Um, I definitely can see Now, even though mine looks nowhere near as good as hers, even after she makes it up, uh, it. I mean, it's high. Right. Okay, it's better than I. Okay, so that's it's better than I. Um, it is it's better than I. Um, the first time I had this. I did not have the excess ingredients. I only had this. I did not have any of the fresh ingredients. So, so it was definitely basic. better than that. So it, it was basic. It was, I mean, it was better. It was at a higher level basic than a normal basic. But she went extra. No, I guess not. So, <laughs> um, it's a lot better than 
The other one I would have rated maybe like a six and a half. This one, oh. a lot higher. It's it's that good. Not like the best mojito I ever had. Not the best mojito that I think I'm ever going to make. But oh, it's good. Oh, it sounds like we got some good stuff coming up. We have some have to have some confidence. Whatever, you know what I mean. So, but it's good. Like I would definitely buy this at a at a little lounge area. Maybe I'm on you know vacation or whatever in Cancun and you know they have this mm. I'm gonna choose this whatever I'm not paying double digits for it um, I would pay double digits for this if mine look like that okay okay <laughs> uh, 11.99 plus tax <laughs> you get this $12 and, hmm, if mine look like this they can do what it do excuse me $7.50 if mine look like that it needs to be a whole damn picture I agree with that. I agree with that. No more than 20 bucks for that picture. Though. Yes. Yes. And I'm not sharing my picture. Exactly. I'm not sharing. No and ice. it better not Hold be full ice. of ice. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hold you know the these, ice. You know how these Hold bubs the do? Ice. No. Fill up the ice. No, the, no, 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 This no, no, no. is, this is amazing that. to me. It's like, I can see this as a start of new memory. So, mm. going to any other mojito, like a, a classic mojito, I... Think of Cuba and the the times that we sh we had there and that my girlfriend and I shared or whatever. That's what it makes me think of. This can elicit new memories for me. Hmm. That's how I feel. I mean, that's what I wanted to remind me of, like C nineteen. But I mean, it's a place in time. It's a it's a point in history. And I I went down with a watermelon mojito. All right, so that was almost poetic and heartfelt until the reference to what's going on right it's now. It's life. But I feel life her. Is. Life I feel is. her. I'm probably not going to commit this to memory because the... <laughs> I mean, the drink itself will commit to memory at this moment. I'm not so sure. Are you just going to cut out a whole, like... No, I'm just, I'm just trying to say... Life. I'm just trying to say that this is, like... It's good, but it's not like, you know what? This is the highlight of my whatever whatever in the year 2020 after everything that's going on like it's it could be like one of many one where, okay where were you Maybe during a piece together thing, shelter in place where like, were you what were you doing oh well i guess dom d and always d was just drinking their lives away no 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 <laughs> i mean the life no weekends possibly yes yes and I was only to break up the week, so it wasn't just like every day was a flipping Monday. Exactly. Every day cannot exactly. be a Monday. Mondays get a bad rep, by the way. But I don't want to. I don't want seven Mondays in a row. Mm -hmm. So we knew when it was time to like we're done working. We can you know kick our feet up a little bit. What are we gonna do? We we can't go nowhere. Let's try you a new recipe. Go into your backyard. That's technically With moving. A Watermelon mojito. <laughs> I mean, I guess. No, no, absolutely. Right. Like this is going. This is going on the list of. I mean, I guess it would be the, requests. the right time, because you did you finish your work at around you know the five to six or whatever, and then you just hop out there, you know, as the sun's going down, it's a little cooler. Just I'm sipping as I log off. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, All right. So ratings. Ratings. Oh, ratings. I'm oh, fair. I almost forgot we had to rate. So we're doing scales out of ten. Okay. Doing one scales out of ten. So one to ten. Okay. Hold on. Flavor and looks. What, what? Flavor and looks combined. Obviously. What's your What's your rating on this? I want to be. I want to be a little conservative. Because we're just starting. Based on taste and presentation, I gotta give her a nine. I'm giving her a nine. A nine. I'm giving her a whole nine. That's how much I enjoy this drink. I mean, I really appreciate it because I feel like she's just, you know, giving it an extra point or two here. No. But no. But I'll take it. Nine. It's great. You know, it is good. I don't give nothing away for free. I don't think it's you nine earned, good. You earned it. 
my taste buds, my score. You earned it. Thank you. Period. Period. Um, I don't think it's nine good personally. Um, for me, obviously based off this taste and that look, um, I'm thinking. <laughs> that taste and this look, huh? Eight and a quarter. I'm thinking eight and a quarter. All right, all right. So humble. Uh, no, no, I'm serious. Like, yeah, it was good, but it wasn't, you know, it, it's not something I would rave about. Like, if if I went to the said lounge and someone was like, hey, what what do you think I should get? I might put this as a recommendation, but I would recommend it after, like, maybe the second or third one. And, and I'm like, oh, uh, this one's also good. It wouldn't be like, oh, you need to get this. I'd be like, you need to get this. Or, you know, you can get this, too. This is decent. This is the, this was decent. I'll have to look and see how they dress first. What does that have to do with, okay, you know what? I'm not opening up that can of worms. <laughs> Try not to give energy to things that I really don't want the answer to because I don't really, you know, connect to it. So I'm just gonna, you know what? That's fair. That's fine. Y'all know fine. what I'm talking about. It's fine. You're a hmm. But hmm. as the first drink, this is a good first drink to have for- It's a great first drink. Like this gives me, this gives me like, Hype excited for what's to come, so I oh, 100 <laughs> percent, especially since I believe I can make better ones. 100 percent, I'm, I'm very, very excited wait. to keep going because this is has my blood boiling, you know what I mean? Can't wait, Man, yeah, too tasty. Good job, Don. Thank you, thank you. So, that brings us to the conclusion of tonight's segment with uh, Mix With Me Mojito Edition. Watermelon mojito. Please uh, stay tuned. We have three more drinks on deck. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead, grab yourself a drink in the in the meantime. Why not? Yeah. And while you're waiting for the next segment, please be sure to subscri subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, comment below. Let us know what drink you think is coming up next. What flavor? See if you're right. A nice like would be good too. <laughs> I mean, I already know y'all. I mean, if you like it, I already know you yeah. like it because you watch it. So, <laughs> good at your right. light. All right. All right. See you in Let a minute. Bye.